Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, but you want to know if they're vocal just so you're not up all night and, and annoying your neighbors with a dog that is barking and howling all night long? In this video, I'm going to cover the question, do Boston Terriers bark? And be sure to stay till the end because I'm also going to tell you exactly why your Boston Terrier is barking at you. Coming up. <music> Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com. Do Boston Terriers bark? If so, when? In general, a Boston Terrier is not known to be a barking breed. I recently conducted a Facebook poll on the Boston Terrier Society's Facebook community. Once again, the overwhelming response to these Boston Terrier owners was all the same. No, their Boston Terrier tends not to bark. The question that I posed to them is, do you think your Boston Terrier barks a lot? I had over 210 responses and only 16% said, yes, their Boston Terrier does bark a lot. So that's 84% that said no. So if you're looking for a dog that tends not to bark, this is the dog breed for you. Bella, my Boston Terrier, for instance, she rarely barks. And we're gonna cover the cases as to when she does bark. If you're enjoying learning about Boston Terriers, be sure to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get the latest video. Now I wanna cover basically the six reasons as to why your Boston is barking. Reason number one, greeting barking. This is basically whenever you come home, your Boston's super excited to see you and they're jumping all over you and they're probably barking as well. They're just happy to see you. One of those instances where they're doing the greeting barking. If you wanna stop it, there's some great videos out there. I'll go ahead and show a video here where they talk about how to stop this. The second type of barking is territorial barking. Whenever it comes to territorial barking, this is whenever another dog might be walking near your dog or around the house, things of that nature, your Boston could start barking at it. In my experience, Bella doesn't really do any type of territorial barking unless we're walking on the leash and I'm saying this is very rare. This happens out of 50 walks, uh, maybe twice. So 25 walks, one time where we'll be walking past the dog, but we'd have to be in very close proximity before she'd actually bark at it. Whenever we're walking normally, dog, you know, social distancing of six feet, she doesn't bark, keep that in mind. But if they're in their territory, that's the type of barking this is. Third type is alarm barking, which I think this is great. So anytime someone comes to the door, this is when Bella barks. This is one of the only times that she tends to always bark. If like the UPS man comes, she'll start barking. And this just alerts everybody in the house that someone's here at the door, which I think is fantastic. Fourth one is social barking. This happens whenever other dogs are barking and basically your dog jumps into the crowd. So I think of 101 Dalmatians, whenever Pongo's barking and all the dogs go crazy. I have a two and a half year old, so I've watched that movie several times in the last month. Once all the other dogs start barking because of Pongo's bark, that is social barking. Number five is frustrated barking. This happened to us whenever we put Bella in a cage, you know, in our little kennel or crate. We don't put her in a crate anymore, but whenever we did there for a while, she would start to bark. And what was weird, she wouldn't bark whenever we were home. It was whenever we left the house and we didn't notice this until we came back and basically surprised her. This would be that type of frustration barking where they're angry and mad and they're barking out of frustration. The last one, and this is a big one, number six, attention barking. This is the type of barking that Bella does all of the time. She doesn't bark at other people, she barks at us. This is whenever she wants to play with us, maybe she wants to sit in our laps, or she just wants to sit there next to me and look at me all funny and then barks. That's attention barking. And this breed does attention barking. They do it a lot, so expect that. <laughs> One thing I do wanna say with attention barking, you wanna make sure they don't actually need something. You know, if they're hungry, it might look like attention barking, but they just wanna eat something. Or if they're thirsty, another reason Bella, sometimes we're thinking she's doing attention barking, but she simply wants us to open up our bedroom door so she can go to her bed. Another reason, she might need to go outside and go potty. So be sure to kind of do that critical thinking and go through that checklist. Make sure your dog's not hungry, thirsty, wants to go outside or wants to get in its bed because otherwise it could be mistaken for attention barking and they actually need something. Overall, Boston Terriers are not a breed that's known for barking in general. If you're looking for a dog that tends not to bark, the Boston Terrier 
is the perfect dog breed for you. My question to you is what tips do you have if you've had a dog previously or maybe you've learned something along the way? What tips do you have to stop a dog from barking? Be sure to put them in the comments below. This will help people that come see this YouTube video that are thinking about getting a dog, but they're worried about it barking. This will just give them some tips and ideas whenever they come to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Really appreciate the support. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy learning about Boston Terriers. And until next time, life is better with a Boston.